Henry Believer live in Melbourne and I think we saw another video from Henry but that was together with a whole group of violin players or so I believe some or some other musicians and it was Canon D I think that we saw in another live stream okay so it is the first first video I think so guys this suggestion has been done by Eveline as well uh, and this is Henry with the song Believer live in Melbourne it's a totally different setup I think. Let's turn on subtitles. It's English. All right. That's good. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. Here we go. I think I haven't seen him play the piano. Did he, didn't he play the violin? And I see a guitar right there as well. Is this like a a guy that plays also multiple instruments? Oh, he's work. He's working with, with, uh, with loops. That reminds me of Ed Sheeran because he do he does that in ugh, does that. <laughs> he does that in live performances as well. But this is with the synthesizer. That's that's different. So he plays the drums too. So he plays multiple instruments. There's a violin. There's a cello. Okay. Wait, where was the pad that he saved the sound on? Did I miss it? I Or does he have some kind of pad with him? I would think that the stick might break <laughs> by doing that. Damn. Hey. 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 Oh, so he he sings his own backing vocals right now or not? Damn. I didn't actually know where it, w where it was going, so it is from, um, uh, oh my god, uh, I really can't remember names today, um, Imagine Dragons, sorry, <laughs> Imagine Dragons, let's continue this. First things first, I'm a saying, oh, I'm fed up and tired of the way the things have been, oh, like it's a bit different it's not the same voice as we have from Imagine Dragons because the singer of Imagine Dragons has such a like 
edgy, rough, r- rock kind of voice with the growl in it. It's totally different than, than we see here with Henry. He's doing so many things right now. Let's see what he adds later on. <laughs> like he doesn't use this part in a loop obviously but the hard thing in using loops is first of all like staying consistent with rhythm but also like if you make a mistake it is recorded so you have to make be sure that it is played correctly or you have to play it like for another time and like record it for a second time um so it is not evident to do that. So you have to be very precise in that. And some of the parts that he's singing, like the verses, the plays, the parts that he plays on the piano that are really hard are obviously not used in a loop because, like, it's a highlight. It's not supposed to be repeated, like, <laughs> over and over again. First things first, I must say all the words inside my head. Oh no. Yeah, he's a good musician. Definitely. of the way that things have been. Oh no. All this pain, all this pain, all this pain, all this pain. <laughs> That was a bit edgy too on the on the voice there, a bit of roughness there. Oh my god, he blew my socks off. <laughs> the thing is, like when he uses these loops, it is it is risky to use in a live performance too, because it is something to be able to perform this at a setup at home in a studio kind of like, because you can repeat that process. But if you're on a live stage, if you're on a stage for a live performance, you have to bring it right then and there. You don't have a second chance. So the pressure is on. And you have to be able to deal with, like, stress. Like being nervous. This that is crazy. Lower layer. That is a performance. That is an incredible performance. Damn. <sighs> Kinda blew me away. Crazy. Evelyn, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. That was very impressive.